It has been a little while since I did a dedicated video and showed you some new items from Dress Up Your Purse, but Melody just dropped several new items, so I'm going to show those to you today. And we will dress up our purse, so stay tuned. <laughs> YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Melody is the owner of Dress Up Your Purse and she sent me several new items to show to you guys. So we're going to talk about those today. I also have a few classics from her collection to talk to you about and I want to tell you about a couple of items that dropped between when I got these and when I'm filming this. So I got an email about them. I can show you pictures but I don't have them in hand yet and some of you are going to flip out over those because of the colors and the finishes on them so stay tuned for all that. Melody's website will be linked below along with my discount code which is autumn and it gets you an extra 15% off. So make sure you use that when you're shopping. Let me show you what I was sent and then we'll put it on a few bags, play around a little bit, and then we'll talk about those other new pieces. First of all, let me show you what I have on this bag because I do have a couple of older pieces and I'm gonna come closer so you can see them better. One is this little Vachetta pouch. This, let me take it off so you can see it better. It's very similar to a Louis Vuitton Kirigami pouch and these do come in a few different sizes. It also comes with a key ring and a little clip, so you can clip it to your bag. The interior is the raw leather, and this is not a soft vachetta, it's pretty structured, so be aware of that. Melody sells these kirigami type pouches in lots of different colors and finishes, including an iridescent like this, and she has these, I think, this, I think it's called the Dream Collection. It has pinks, yellows, and blues, some purples in there. It's also iridescent like that. It's like an iridescent metallic. Beautiful pieces, and she has some new pieces coming out in that leather. I know a lot of you love that. She also sells luggage tags that you can have custom hot stamped and the Vachettas come in different finishes. So you can get a light color, like this strap is from her. This is the honey color. You can get some that are lighter than this. And then this is the darker patina. This one has an A and a heart. So she designed that one and sent it to me. It has, it says dress up your purse on the back. And these are so difficult to get from Louis Vuitton. They're pretty much impossible these days. So if you'd like a luggage tag that looks looks very similar to the Louis Vuitton one and you want to get it hot stamped and all that, this is the place to go. And she does have them in other colors. Take this big chunky gold chain off. This is one of the items that she sent me and I really, I like it on here. It looks great, I think. Very bold, but I got it specifically to use on another piece that I'll show you in a minute. Before we get to that, I want to show you this strap and let you know I also have an Aben strap because she recently changed her Aben and the hardware to match Louis Vuitton bags better. So I'm going to show you that on my Speedy over here in a bin and compare that to one of her old straps so you can see the difference. This strap is a new one that was just released and this is adjustable but in a different way. So let me open this a bin strap and show you what I mean. So this a bin strap has that traditional buckle that we're all familiar with and it's quite adjustable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten holes and that gives you an adjustment of approximately ten inches I would say. This new strap, this is is the adjustment on it. So this is like, isn't it the Neo Noe that has straps like this? And I have never used them before, so I'm gonna figure it out here with you. It looks like it has some snaps. Yes, it does. This is as long as it can go. You can pull it apart and you see there are two snaps here and then the bottom of the snaps two snaps there and then I can pull these pieces apart like this and that would be the shortest length. So when I have it hanging like this it's two straps but they stay together over your shoulder as one. Down at the end of each strap there are snaps so you can connect those together and keep it in place so it doesn't move around on you. So you basically get two lengths with this. I'll go back here and show you what they look like on my shoulder. I prefer the classic Speedy to the Bandolier Speedy just because I'm not a big fan of the strips of leather on the side of the bag and I have always attached a strap to the handles of my Speedy like this diagonally. Be careful when you do that keep an eye on the stitching but I've never had any trouble with it at all so here is the shortest length this is the length where I would carry the speedy the strap is 
perfect for this. I love that. That's wonderful. Amazing. It's comfortable and it looks great. And also in addition to the different patinas of the leather, you can also select between different glazing. Let me come up closer and show you this too. And I'm going to grab one of her older straps because she's changed the glazing and I want to compare it for you. Okay, first of all, here is a strap that has a clear glazing. So you can see what that looks like. It just looks like the color of the Vachetta, but with a little shine around the edge because it's glazed and it's clear. And then here's the old red glazing. It's quite red. It's not fake looking red because I have seen Vuitton have some bright reds on some of their glazing. But as you wear a Louis Vuitton bag, I've noticed that the red glazing tends to turn a little darker and not so shiny. So here's my Speedy. Here's the old red glazing in comparison. And I think you can tell the glazing on the strap is a brighter red than the glazing on the handle. Now here's the new red glazing. And you can see that red is not as bright. It's darker, a little more maroon and it's also not as shiny. Now this glazing on the handle still has some shine to it, but that will wear down over time. So this does match better. I like this glazing better. Let's try the longer length on this strap and see how that looks. Very easy to adjust. I've seen people really struggle with the Neo Noé straps in videos. I was expecting this to be a lot more difficult, but it was quite easy. So that is long enough where I can wear this cross body. Fabulous. I like that a lot. Excellent. Good job with these, Melody. That adjustable strap would be fantastic if you're planning to go out and you know you're going to be out for a while and sometimes you might want it on your shoulder, sometimes you might want a crossbody. With that strap you have all that versatility. Now let's look at this chunky chain strap. That's the one that I'm most excited about, although I'm going to have to finagle this a little bit for it to work with the bag I want to use it with. But I think it has the potential for being awesome. It could be a massive fail, it could be really awesome. The bag I want to put this on, believe it or not, is this, the tiny little Fendi Nano Baguette. I'll bring it closer so you can actually see it without having to zoom in on your screen. Here it is, I recently unboxed this, it's the sequin one. I'll link that unboxing below if you haven't seen it. And I wanna try this chunky chain on it because you've seen these from Fendi, right? The little Nanos that have the huge straps on them. I thought this could work, let's give it a try. Also, can we do this together. This Fendi logo has the little plastic on it and let's just peel that plastic off together. Wow. There it is. That's a piece of leather back there. Nice. I wanna show you this too. The way I would attach it is these little D-rings and right now I have the long crossbody chain on it. That chunky chain is not gonna fit through there. So I'll have to finagle it a bit. What I have found that I have currently at home and I'm gonna have to find something different. Sorry to keep going back and forth on you. I have these little clips and it's just something small that'll fit in there. So hopefully this will work just to test the idea out and then I can find something that really works if I like the look of it. So I'm gonna attach these to the little D-rings and then attach the chunky chain to the clips and close the bag. And again, it's not perfect, but oh, it's perfect. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at that. Oh my God, it's adorable. Look, give you a spin. That is perfect. That's exactly what I imagined it would be. And if I let it hang, it looks like that. Ah, it's so cute. Oh no. The chain does have some weight to it. If I open it up, I could take the crossbody strap out. Let's do a couple little mod shots with this. See how it looks. Okay, here it is hanging from the crossbody strap with the big chunky chain hanging down. Oh, here it is crossbody with the chain hanging down. It's so flipping cute. It's like that chain was made for this bag. And the little clips, they work fine. They're hidden, you don't really see them. So I'd still like to get something that looks a little nicer than they do, but you really don't notice them. It would just be me that notices it. And then if I don't have it on crossbody, I can just carry it around handheld like this or over my wrist or over my elbow like that. Very cute. Very cute. I love it so much. It's perfect. All right, now that we've played with the cutest bag in the history of handbags, let's look at another classic, the Speedy 30. I do have a strap on here right now. This is a Louis Vuitton strap. This is from my Trevi PM. I'm gonna take that off so I can compare it to the two from Dress Up Your Purse, the new Aben strap and the old Aben strap. First of all, here is the old Aben and here's the new Aben. If you put them side by side, forget the width difference for now, but new, old, you can tell the texture on them is a little different. This is much more flat and smooth, and this, it has a little more of a grain to it. This is a much softer leather, 
this is a much harder, sturdier leather. The edges on this are a little, uh, a little more pointed. What am I trying to say? What's the right word? They're a little sharper. All in all, the new strap, the new leather is more true to Louis Vuitton pieces. The old strap is a little more red and the new one is closer to Louis Vuitton and Ben. Let me compare these to the Louis Vuitton so you can see that difference. Okay, so this is Louis Vuitton, this is the old, this is the new. I think there you can see the difference a little better. I think you can see here the textures are more similar. Again, Louis Vuitton and new dress up your purse. They have about the same shimmer. The Vuittons may be a little bit shinier. Both very smooth. Both feel like sturdy leather. Now this strap is particularly thick and heavier. I'm not sure about the bandolier straps on like a Speedy, how that would compare to this, but the Trevi has a particularly thick strap, so that may not be the best comparison of thickness to these two. This is a big improvement on Melody's old Eben straps. The clasps on these are different because the Trevi has this different clasp that Louis Vuitton doesn't really use very often anymore. They tend to use these now, but there's a comparison of the hardware. This hardware is nice, it's substantial, it feels good. Let's try it on the Aben bag and see how it looks. And again, this one is adjustable. Here it is on the shortest setting, so it's definitely longer than that different strap that I just showed you in Vachetta that has two ways to adjust it. It sits down at my hip rather than higher at my waist. And then here it is at the longest setting, crossbody, and that sits at about the same place, crossbody, as it did on my shoulder at the shortest setting. So that's very comfortable, that would be easy to wear, and I think you can't go wrong Wrong with any of these straps because especially the adjustable ones because they'll go between shoulder and crossbody if you want to change it up during the day okay now I want to show you the new pieces from the collection that I don't have with me but that I got an email about and in case you haven't seen this email you should see them because there might be something here that you really fall in love with from the dream collection the Kirigami set and this one is in different colors than I mentioned before it's blues pinks and purples it's really pretty and it's got like a color blocking on it there's also and that's lambskin by the way they also have clays the little key pouches and she has this new round coin purse this is the kind, it's not like the original Vuitton round coin purse that you'd put in your in your bag. It's the one like would hang from that bag that has the strap with the coin purse that hangs from it and the two little pouches, I forget what that's called. So those are all in Dream Collection. She also has those round coin purses in other leathers like Vachetta, a Ben, black, and a rose gold. And she has a new keychain shaped like a bunny head with one ear up and one flopped over. That's cute. And I just thought of something. In case you don't have a little Fendi nano bag that you want to attach the chunky gold chain to. Here's how it looks on the pochette accessoire. Very nice. Or you could take that leather strap off and use this as a handle. That would be pretty too. That's another way to use it and hang it from your Speedy or whatever other bag. There's a lot you can do with that. It's really a statement piece. And I have found that I like these more and more. At first, when these chunky chains started to come out, I was averse to them. Since I have a few and have been playing with them, they're really pretty fun. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.